What about Dusty? Well, he thinks I've got a fatal attraction. Hide your bunnies and stash your butcher knives. Dusty's an idiot. I just told you that. He's a fool. Well, now he's your sister's fool. So, where will you go? Alaska's still out there. Long winters. Well, just one of the perks. Look, I, I don't know where I'm gonna land, and I really don't care. Anywhere but here is looking pretty good right now. And I've got nothing to hold me here anymore. I think you've got more holding you here than you think. Like what? Family? Friends? I'm pretty low on both. We all have our sad stories. I'm not looking for pity. I'm not offering any. For me, being dead has its upside. No more income tax. <laughs> right? No family to disappoint or crazy girlfriends to gun you down. I think, at the end of the day, I would rather have my family love me for being dead than resent me for being alive. <laughs> well, it's scary, but I actually get your logic. I have burned a lot of bridges, and I have even less holding me here than you do. So why don't we just take off together? You want to run away with me? Thank you. Keep them coming. Henry, how could losing Paul be good for me? He was the best time of my life. Well, oh, imagine the worst. <sighs> Emily, look, look at you. Come here, you are young and beautiful. You are young and beautiful. I wish you were dead. You came close. That counts for something, doesn't it? And, 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 and he didn't call the cops. You're free. Free? You should do what? To fall in love with again? Damn. Forget it. Shh, shh, listen to me. Listen to me. Someday, someday Mr. Wright is going to come riding in on a big white horse. Oh, He's yeah, going to sweep you right fall up. Fall in love with free. someone else. And Paul Ryan is yesterday's news. Forget about him. You are a strong, independent woman. Who needs a man, huh? You can't live with him, you can't kill him. That's what I always say. Are you getting any of this? You have been a very good friend tonight, Henry. That's nothing. Speaking of money, uh, I know this is an emotional time. It's a difficult no, 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 no. That money is yours. And you should have it. Especially since you just helped me figure out how to pick up the pieces and get on with my life. I did. Why? Uh, how many reasons do two tortured souls really need? Well, that's quite an invitation. I'm just saying, I am as disconnected from my life as I could possibly be, and you are in line right behind me. Well, Mr. Ryan, you are being... Quite charming today. Okay, look, I haven't gotten to the good part. It's okay. I'm alone. And you're alone. And we could be alone together. I think it could be fun. In a, you know, non-committed kind of way. What do you say? We could get a map and just pick a spot. I see. I'll get the map. <laughs> you won't regret this. I'm so done with regrets.
pretty please with sugar on top? Mm. No sugar until you say what I want to hear. Okay, you have to give me a hint. Am I the only one for you? Yes. Yes. I've forgotten all about him. Dusty, it's Emily Stewart. Call me as soon as you get this message. There's something you and Jennifer need to know right away. Get him? Yeah. Here. Two passports with fake names. Any problems? No. I, I gave him the money and he gave me the envelope. Great. So we can drive north to Canada, we'll use these to get across the border, and we'll go wherever we want. Paris, London, Tokyo. We can just disappear. What? I'm sorry. Uh, God, I haven't been getting much sleep lately, and then you say disappear. What is my family going to think? Uh, my mother, Holden? He's never gonna forgive me. And Dusty, I think about never seeing him again. Not that it matters, he hates me. Meg. Look, if, if we stick around, we run the risk of getting arrested. You as an accessory, and me as, as, well, whatever they can figure out. And once Jennifer figures out that it was my bright idea to hire a psychic, she's not gonna be in a forgiving mood. She'll testify against both of us. Our only hope is to cut our losses and run. Yes, Mr. Donovan. I need a car to the airport in about an hour. I'll have one waiting. Thank you. Hi, Dusty. I, I left you a few messages. It's got to wait. We need to talk. I've got a plan to get. It's about Meg, Dusty. Whatever. I Meg, don't... damn it, I'm trying to help you and Jennifer. Meg is keeping something secret. What is it? You have my attention? Let's hear it. I don't want this getting out for obvious reasons. Paul Ryan is alive. And someone needs to stop him before he gets away. But it's gotta stop. Meg is not paying me. Well, she already paid off a psychic, Emily. If you go anywhere near Jennifer, I'm telling you, I'll make life very... Dusty, would you stop, all right? Meg isn't trying to break up you and Jennifer, and neither am I. That's not what this is about. Meg wants Paul. I saw them together. You saw Meg and Paul together? They're lovers. Sorry, I know. Look, I don't want to leave my brother or my sister. I was really hoping that I could make peace with Jennifer, you know? That's the whole reason I stayed. I know. It's just a horrible feeling, knowing that everybody is talking about what a failure I am. You're not a failure. No? <laughs> my poor mother, when she found out that I lied to Jennifer about the baby, she just didn't even look in her eye. She was so ashamed of me, and that was just the beginning. Meg, don't do this, okay? I can't help it. I keep thinking of never seeing my family again. My brother, his kids, and poor Luke. Luke, he's been through so much already, and now he has to deal with the kids at school saying what a loser his Aunt Meg is. Hold on a second. Listen to me. You didn't do this, okay? I did it. This is all me. All you did was save the life of a dying man, and whether you live to regret that, really remains to be seen. Ask me again in Paris after we've had a few. I know you're trying to cheer me up, but 
I'm lost cause. Paul, bad luck just follows me everywhere. You're better off without me, okay? So when we go up to Canada, we'll split up. You go to Europe and I'll... Oh, 